hi to dance dance eh 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 a good girl eh good girl dance the song here to ile a a baby girl eh eh a baby girl eh eh a baby girl eh 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 high five good girl <laughs> So hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, Karibu sana. My name is Divan Sogwena and this is Divan's Empire. I'm here with my little baby cousin, Crystal, aka uh, Nyachula, Nyamfangano. Mama, nakusifu na unainama. Mm. Nakusifu, imagine. Kuja pa, kama ni kubeta. You know your birthday is soon. Yo. Come here. So today is uh, 12th of July. A uh, good month. We're almost halfway of this month. My birthday was on 1st of July, but we decided to do a celebration of it today. Actually, one thing that I noticed is that the people around me, uh, and that is my uncle, my aunt, uh, they are baby and myself we are all july babies and since we are a family and we're always together we decided to have a ceremony today on 12th of uh, july we are all celebrating about the four of us so we decided why don't you do a joint thing that we'll appreciate and i remember one day i was talking to a cousin of mine who actually bakes this beautiful cakes that we normally eat for our birthdays and weddings mama come Yo, thank you. Uh, and she told me that uh, it's very important to celebrate the day you are born, even in small ways. You don't have to make it big. Just something small that you will appreciate the fact that you are born. And that one really touched me in a big way. And I remembered uh, this friend of mine from the United States called Fishmonger Stories. He sent me some money for my birthday party. And I said, why not? Why don't I just contribute to, uh, uh, and do a joint thing with these uh, other members of my family? And we celebrate this day, all of us, because we rarely celebrate our birthdays. And I'm like, if we don't celebrate our birthdays, then are we going to wait for people to celebrate our death? Yeah. So that is why we decided today we are going to celebrate. So I early in the morning. Uh, actually now it is um, it is actually 10:24 a.m. in the morning. I woke up at around 7 a.m. Went to town to go and buy some beef stew. So right where I am is called Bama Market. Now Bama Market is situated along Jogo Road in uh, Eastlands parts of Nairobi. Now this is a market that actually only sells meat, beef to be precise. I don't know whether they also sell you know goat meat and maybe uh, other kinds of meat but one thing I know is that meat here is very very cheap. Now many business people come to buy meat from this place this particular market and once they take them to the estates they hike the prices the prices be are actually double what you buy from here or what you pay to get the same quantity of meat from so that is why we actually advocate to come and buy meat from this place it's kind of a distance and a hassle but it's worth it uh, right behind me, I'm at my uncle's place. They're actually cooking and doing stuffs and stuffs and stuffs. There was this time that my mother told me about something about my birth. Before I was born, uh, my mother told me she was already at her eighth month, and uh, is it eighth or ninth? My birth was due, and. Uh, when she went to hospital at Kisi, by then we used to stay at Kisi County. So she went to hospital uh, for the final checkup, and the doctor actually told her, the doctor was in that hospital, told her that uh, she's about to give birth, but then uh, the baby in the womb was still lying across. You know, they normally say when a, a woman is pregnant, 
Now, uh, when uh, the baby is all normally, I think, upright, like the head faces upwards, the more she's preparing to give birth, the baby should turn around and uh, actually sit in the womb upside down. The head should be facing down, the legs should be facing up for easy birth. When it's not that when then that means there are a lot of complications, the mother might end up to, uh, undergoing uh, a CS pro uh, process. CS is where the, the mother is operated so that the baby is picked out of the womb. So that was the situation that my mom was in. And uh, I, by then she said uh, things such as uh, medication, like uh, there were no doctors, doctors were very few. And most particularly for Kisi Hospital, there were no enough doctors. So there was this doctor who visited the Kisi District Hospital from, um, he was a Chinese. He came to Kenya, I don't know Chinese or Indian, I think Chinese. When he came to Kenya, uh, my mother booked an appointment and uh, in the process that is the doctor who gave birth to me she operated my mom and uh, I was born through CS they call it cesarean section something to do with that I'm not a doctor but I guess I'm right so that is the way I was born before my days were actually completely due I was born before uh, uh, before the D-Day so that is how I was actually born and Something again about births of Luo people is that you are named or you are given a name according to the time and season that you are born. I was born very early in the morning and that is why my name was called Devans Ogweno. Ogweno means early in the morning. If you take out the O from it, it remains Gweno. Gweno is chicken. So I was born very early in the morning when the cocks were growing. So that is why I was named Ogwendo. And can you believe it or not? When I was being born, uh, the brother to my mother, actually the, the one who my, mom's fo my mom follows, because my mom is the last born. So the one who he follows, actually I was being born and he was dying. The funny thing is that his, uh, his brother was also called Devans Ogwendo. So I was born at a time when his brother was dying and that is why I was named after him, Devans Ogweno. So that is a little history about my birth and uh, it's good to, and important for me to share with you, especially on this particular day that we are celebrating the day that I was born. So we, there is uh, much fun uh, in this day because you're going to eat, we are going to um, celebrate this day together, we'll pray and fellowship together. We're not inviting very many people, actually very few people are invited, especially children, because there's a child, the little baby that I normally hang around with in my video here is also celebrating her birthday. Her birthday was yesterday, but for today, my uncle and his sister or her sister are celebrating this today. So we've combined all of us, so we've combined and uh, to have this day just to celebrate our lives and our birth let's see how the day will go with us in the kitchen there's a lot of cooking going on right now <laughs> We are also nursing. Oh, now watch how Malise kubuku kwanza. Mama ku. A party is never complete in Kenya without the presence of chapati. Wow. Chapati is one special type of a meal that is actually appreciated, especially in my country, Kenya. It's a meal that is cooked in every kind of celebration or party. Any function without chapati, that is not a party. Then, what is it?
ask yourself and answer yourself chapati was actually a meal that was appreciated long time ago it was normally cooked and eaten once in a year and that was during christmas season but uh, thank god to the many things that have changed this nowadays because it's cooked any time that one or people desire and like the older days when it was cooked during one particular function that was christmas season so what is happening here is the cooking of chapati it's a process but kind of just good we love chapatis chapatis are sweet when they are hot and soft so make sure while cooking chapati don't make them hard So guys, the chapatis are ready. As you can see, I'm eating one. Uh, now we want to fry chicken here. Mm. I'm so hungry. The time is... Uh, it's already past, uh, past noon. It's almost 1 p.m. now. Mm. So guys, I'm here currently blowing balloons. This is for the young baby who's just turning two years old. So I've just finished blowing these balloons, like all of them, they're 10 in color. This is purple and this is white. All of them are filled with my air. But this one is too big, this one is too tiny. Okay, I didn't know the size, but okay, they're fine. This one is the one that has a number on it, but now it doesn't have something to blow it with. So that is the challenge that we are having here. Oh no. Okay. Let me inquire. Let me say, I think the, it needs a straw. Five minutes later. I know that you red green. You're very smart. You can record audio. 
very loud. Ona be very smart. Be very loud. Ona be very smart. How do you zoom? Okay. Very great. So that you be smart. I be smart. Yes. Okay. Be very smart. Sasa. 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 Bawa. Sasa. Ni. Bawa. Daddy. Sasa. Nani analia? Little stars. Hey, who are you? Hey, I'm my friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Crystal. Santi. Happy birthday to the parents for being two years. For being parents for two years. You know. You are bure. You are bure. Let me tell you, parents do not have to give you happy birthday. Hmm. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. And finally, the long awaited time came. That is the cake cutting ceremony. Wow. All right, so before the cake is cut, let me share with you something very important. Now, the cake that was made for us was made by one of my cousins called Angie Vacation. She makes the most delicious kind of cake that I have ever tasted, and uh, I was left wanting more and more and more of it. So, if you want to order, Above the contacts, just call her number and she will deliver what you ask for. Let the baby blow the candle. Yay! And now baby Crystal has blown the candle and she's now officially two years old. Now let's cut the cake for everyone to have a piece, have a taste. The cake was so big, it was so, 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 so big for all of us to finish. Actually, we ate the cake to our satisfaction, but imagine the one at the bottom actually was the leftover so that means we ate to our satisfaction we ate and ate and ate yawa yawa i wish you knew but anyway we thank god that the day was successful and everything went on well and i hope guys you've enjoyed this video until next time always work hard and be nice to people this is divan's empire end of discussion